DIY cheap effective trail camera security box bracket. That's what our subject's about today. A lot of hunters use trail cameras. And not only hunters, so do trappers to see what animals are in their area. That's what the hunters do. They want to know whether what big buck they have, or what deer are traveling, what turkeys, maybe bear. Trappers use them for what fox, coyote, coon, mink, whatever. If they have them along a creek looking for uh, coon, muskrat, mink. Seeing what's traveling in your area. They're a great tool to use for either hunting or trapping. What I'm going to talk about today is upgrading that security box bracket. So anyhow, let's go to the shop and we'll show you the upgrades. Okay, I'm in the shop. We're going to make a new camera bracket mounting unit. This piece of steel or piece of metal they're so thin that they're easy to get bent so what we're going to use to make the new mounting bracket are two plates cover plates for electrical box but we're going to put two of these together and make the bracket to mount the trail cameras on. I've started the rebuild for the new heavy duty bracket. And I have bolted across here. I've added two other quarter inch bolts here in the center along with the ones that will go out on the corners for each corner. And those are inch and a half inches long. And that's what goes against the tree. The other thing I'm going to switch around are these eye bolts in the back here that the camera strap goes through to hold the bracket against the tree. These will be on the front side. Here I got the bolts for in the corners transferred over. So now I have six bolts on there to go against the tree. I put the other eye bolt over. Again, I went to 5 16 instead of one quarter inch eye bolts. Here's the quarter inch bolt and the reason why, how they bend so easy. And that happened when I was trying to move the camera. Didn't have wrenches along to loosen the, the bolt at the eye bolt. And uh, it had some movement, but yet it was tight enough I'd end up bending these quarter inch eye bolts. And the plate. This plate, the thickness, is 0.043 inches on the original plates that I used. And what everybody's using, showing on YouTube, myself included, what I learned. The thickness of these plates are 0.077. Just about double, not quite. So they are a lot heavier, a lot thicker. Along with the heavier eye bolts, and I will be have my wrenches along if I need to adjust the eye bolt. Uh, if I have it too snug and it doesn't move, I'll be able to loosen up so I can move it. The next change that I made is on the bottom and the back of most of your trail cams, they have a quarter inch uh, place to screw in. 
So what happened was my eye quarter inch eye bolt was screwed into the bottom. That quarter inch eye bolt was screwed into the bottom of the trail cam. Went to move the security case that the cam sat in. So when I went to adjust the tilt of the camera within the security box, that quarter inch eye bolt was screwed into the bottom of the camera and I bent it and broke that out. Now I've super glued that back in, but this is another change we're making. This mounting bracket is now going to go into the back. I'm going to drill a hole here. This is going to go into this. And also instead of wing nuts, I learned the hard way, I'm going to the nylon lock, work, or lock nuts. Wing nuts, you just cannot get them tight enough. I couldn't anyhow. The nylon uh, lock nuts, they stay where you put them. So right now I'm going to take this and go drill my hole in the back here. The reason I use the security boxes is I have black bear in my area. And I don't want to lose the camera because I didn't have it protected. Well, I drilled the hole in the security case. Then the bracket will fit in like such. On the inside I'll put another flat washer and a nylon lock nut. So we're going to go to the field and we'll show you mounting it on the tree again and setting it up. All right, we're out here to mount our uh, trail camera bracket and security box. Get my strap through. It's through both the top and the bottom. I ended up having to move it around the tree a little bit. Have this set, I just need to tighten it up. Now all I have left to do is to install the camera and you turn it on. I need my cable around to the lock. The uh, security box. And lock her up. That's the install of the new uh, bracket for my trail cam, the heavy duty job. Hope you enjoyed the video DIY project. You can uh, hit the round icon button to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate that. And you can also check out the other two videos are listed on the screen. Thanks for watching.